Hello everybody, my name's Alan, and you're watching Guns, Gear, and Outdoor Alaska. Today, on this beautiful late spring day, we're driving down a road outside of Fairbanks that isn't maintained during the winter time, so we're just heading down as far as we can, depending on road conditions, seeing if we can get to the end. And spring black bear, bear and brown bear season's open right now, so we'll just be casually glassing these hillsides where it's open and greened up, seeing if we can find any bears. Yeah, welcome along on the ride. Let's see if we can get one. We've had a lot of green up in the last few days or so. You can still, we're probably at about 2,500, 3,000 feet right now. You can see on the far hillside, there's still a little bit of snow in the shaded areas, but the birch trees, all the leaves are coming in and grass and horses tails are starting to grow up. So this is a good time to be looking for bears where it's, where it's clear enough to see. So we'll just sit up here for a while drive a little further down the road every now and then and find a good spot in glass. Now looking through this old burn for black bears, it's kind of hard to tell the difference sometimes between a black bear and a burned out stump. We got some out there that looks pretty suspicious, so we're just going to keep our eye on it for a while. See if it moves maybe 600 yards out. Makes me wish I had a spotting scope. So uh, like, share, subscribe. Helps us out a lot. Maybe we can get a spotting scope someday. Yeah, I think I've been watching that spot for a while, that bear-like stump. And uh, hasn't moved on us. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a stump. Wish I had enough zoom on the camera to show you guys. Never seen a stump that looks as berry as this one. It's got little legs and a head and everything. So we'll leave this glass and spot and go ahead and move on down a little bit. Get our eyes on some fresh country. We'll see you there. Got a little bit of snow up here at the top. much that we can't get through. We'll see how it goes from here. Glad we got more fuel, we're gonna use more in four wheel drive. Just got out to lock the hubs, it's pretty muddy with all the snow melt up here. It's probably in the high 60s up here, even with all the snow. Oh yeah, look at this. get to a good spot up here we'd like like to glass that other hillside this is a pretty good spot up here Gonna spend some time glassing, looking around. Got that side of the hillside to check, and this side. So, I'm gonna go ahead and load up the rifle just in case we're ready to put the stock on one. Let 
let's get to it. So it looks like here we may be getting to the end of our road. Hit a patch of slush back there and now I'm headed up to scout it out. And looks like we've got maybe 100, 150 yards of two and a half, three foot deep slush with this mud and gravel underneath it. So I don't think we're gonna get through that today, but it's probably 70 degrees up here, so in four days or so, maybe it'll be passable with the Bronco. But there's some other places we can go to check out. We won't give up the hunt yet, still got some time. Yeah, I'll let you take a look at it here. That's where we're trying to go. Yeah, all the way up the road for a ways it's this deep slush. There's no real good trees here to hook up to to pull ourselves out if we get in trouble. Don't really have a way to call for help, so... Yep, sometimes you just gotta know when to call it and come back later. So that's what we're gonna do.